three long days, but there's a little bit for Hampshire to do here tomorrow, isn't there? Yeah, without doubt. Um, obviously under pressure tomorrow, we know that if we bat well, um, we can sort of control the game. Um, but yeah, obviously Lancashire played well today on a pretty placid pitch. Um, I think looking back, we're probably a little bit short with a bat in the first innings. But as I said, if we bat well tomorrow, we should hopefully get the draw. Placid pitch, as you say, and is it something to do with the ball as well? Is it sort of both factors? I think probably more the ball. Um, it's obviously very soft, um, you know, to, to get wickets. After the new ball is very tough, um, but I thought we stuck well with it today, sort of controlled the run rate, and as I said, yeah, hopefully we'll be back well tomorrow and get a draw. You toured away, 49 overs, the third most overs you bowled in, in, in innings. Yeah, I thought we bowled fairly well. Um, conditions wouldn't say they were ideal for, for spin. It's obviously pretty flat wicket and not much bounce or pace in the wicket. So yeah, try to do a job and yeah, happy to take four wickets. Is that where you've got to think about a lot of variations on in conditions like this? A little bit, but I try and keep it pretty simple. Um, obviously vary the line a little bit, try and hit a little bit of the rough, but it didn't tend to do too much. Um, yeah, it's just one of those days, or one of those games where the pitch isn't that responsive uh, at the minute, but let's see what happens tomorrow. We had to wait 40 overs today for the first wicket. You got it, Keaton Jennings trying to reverse sweep you. Yeah, I think it's that sort of wicket where if you if you want to sit in as a batsman, you, you, know, you can feel Pretty comfortable doing it if you get yourself in. Um, you're obviously looking for batsmen to try and make mistakes, um, which is a way to get wickets on that pitch. But yeah, um, as I said, we've got to try and match what they did today in about a period of time. And if we do that, hopefully we can get the draw. We thought Nathan Lyon bowled for long periods, 38 overs in one innings. Your 49 surpassed that, and you got more wickets as well. Yeah, he's still got a bowl tomorrow. He's a world class bowler. So yeah, it's going to be a good challenge for us out there tomorrow. Um, but you know the way the pitch has played over the well the last three days with another heavy roller to put on it. Hopefully it sort of stays easy paced and doesn't really do much, and we can back the day out. So the pitch isn't wearing too much. I mean, is there a little bit more for Nathan Lyon to aim at tomorrow? Oh, it's a little bit of rough. Um, I wouldn't say the ball's spitting out the rough at any sort of pace. Um, but yeah, he's a world class bowler. He's he's probably bowled on flatter pitches than than what that is. So yeah, if we if we look after him, then hopefully we can um, come out and on a right side of result. Bit of a setback losing the two openers this evening. Yeah, definitely, um, without doubt. But we knew, obviously, the new ball can get wickets here. Um, but yeah, we back ourselves, we back deep. We've got a lot of experience in that middle order. Um, come tomorrow, back well and get a draw. We got used to you last year taking wickets and scoring runs, and you've done it immediately in this game. 80 odd in the in the Hampshire innings so far on the wickets you got today. So you started off where you picked where you left off last year. Well, yes, it wasn't very hard to sort of beat what I started the season last year so yeah happy to get off to a good start but obviously very realistic it's only one game and there's a hell of a lot of cricket left in the summer.